Welcome to this video playing Dr. Boki. <laughs> okay, from Germany. Did I play? I played him once, winning. Let's see. Yeah, I'll go for this for the English defense, leading to usually sharp positions like that. Let's see. Should be this f5. This is this is already quite a good line for black. It's not like an advantage, but um, quite nice. This uh, now makes perfect sense to have delayed the knight on. Um, and then this is just blundering, really. I can just take it. Check. But it's it's quite amazing how often you get this uh, get this on the board. Black is just a rook up here. But it's um, of course still a bit tricky because you have this bad king position. There are lines like that, but in those lines, black um, is not able to play king f8. This is the big difference here yeah, with the bishop already out on b4, that queen h5 can be answered by king f8. And here, he really does not have a great attacking continuation. I will take the rook here, next move. Unless he takes on e6, so <laughs> then I'll recapture to make sure that I'm not mated on f7. Yeah, it's a bit late to think now, really. You you are, you have sacrificed the rook already. <laughs> yeah, that happens really often. People play very very committal stuff like here, sacrificing a rook, and only afterwards they think if it's really working. A bit late. Um, let's one. Let's think briefly. Uh, here I can even flick in knight f6. Yeah. No drawback, right? Yeah, just knight f6. Getting this uh, this tempo, and then I'll take the rook. Okay. Yeah, knight g6. But I can I can return an exchange here easily. It's a, it's a whole rook that I'm up. Take, hmm, okay. Let's uh, let's think about it for a moment. If I take knight g6, yeah, there's even king g8. I mean, really nothing going on. Check. Knight g6. I cannot. I can take it. But I thought that this is a simple solution. Getting the king to h8. And I'm um, still a piece up here. And now, hmm, yeah, this check. Yeah, maybe check. the check looks looks like a good move. If I play bishop e4 now, I get this bishop into the game with tempo. Bishop takes, queen takes is very convincing. Yeah, so probably he needs to retreat it. And then just knight c6. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can take here and play queen a3. Queen a3, I'm, I'm the one attacking here. Check. Check. After that, queen e2 checkmate. Or oh, I'm taking uh, taking another exchange. Yeah, I had this line before here in Blitz games. Wait. Resigned. It's just like immediately losing this this capture here. It's a big difference to to this position if you look at this. White can also play this, f5, and now you can take as this. Oops, um, e f um, bishop g2. Check. Here I cannot go to f8. This is the big difference. And um, I need to play g6, and then you can take. And this is a line that's that's probably good for white. It's not super clear. It has a reputation of being losing for black, but 
maybe um, if you are completely insane and have lots of time on your hand, you can try to make it work. Black um, here actually, uh, instead of taking, has to play this check. check. After which knight c3 leads to the game and loses. So white must play king f1, which also covers this. And then black can just play this position with knight f6 and it's totally murky. Um, in the game with, with this inserted, um, here white must protect e4. There's no, no uh, way around it. Normally white check. gives this check and then queen e2. Knight f6, or you can you can also play queen e2 immediately, not provoking g6. It's um it's only a slight difference, and this is the way um it is played. And something like that, with about equal equal player. Black has some counterplay here, always on the on the f file like this like this. It's a bit. It's weird, as weird as it sounds, it's a bit like in the Sicilian sometimes. This uh, F file is the counterplay. And um, white um, really does not have anything particularly great here. Knight c3 um, in general is not um, not a very testing move because of bishop b4. I think uh, bishop d3 is really much stronger. It's a much stronger move. Knight c3, uh, I believe, is already equal, to be honest. White um, really does not have a good alternative here. He can play f3, but after that, black has various good lines. The toughest being f5 after the capture knight h6. It's um, very, very uh, aggressive, but after this, knight f5 is threatening queen to h4. And this um, leads to very, very tricky play where white um, must be... Yeah, really knowledgeable or super alert tactically to survive this. So it was a quick game, so a bit of an additional quite quick opening survey. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.